For a moment, turn off all that rubbish and begin to feed your mind with what God says about you. What of God says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The word of God is clear as to the fact that whatever you lay your hands upon to do shall prosper. The word of God did not say that because you don't have education, you should be poor. I was talking to our Yoruba pastors who think because they speak Yoruba, they have the right to be poor. They have the right to, to, to come and beg. I said, no. Yoruba language, like somebody said, English language is not a measure of intelligence. Other people that speak French, Chinese. <laughs> My mom will say, but uh, Kawe, I call Mori. Everybody has a Mori. That's why you see illiterate can love Jesus more than those of you that read all these Wururu books. You read. When you hear some professors talk, ah, you see this person has no Ogmori. Oh, it's professor Otika Otika Kakuka. Yes, I'm serious. What I'm teaching is spiritual in quantity and quality. I'm not teaching you head knowledge. It's something that the Spirit of God can give to any human being. Otherwise, it will not be a level playing field. It will not be a level. It, it will be that like if, you, if you are BSc from University of Acapulco, then you will be superior to somebody that went to Leeds University or Labor. But it's not so. I've met men of God who didn't go to any school. <laughs> and when they espouse the word, uh, you yourself, you will know yourself. And I've listened to people that have read books and they talk about the word of God. I say, oh, it's like they're eating yam. They're going to get you. What is this one talking? Ignorance. Number three is what was sent. It shall not return unto him void. 